Hey everybody, I hope you all had a really good weekend. Over my weekend, I got into a plant that I seem to be having an allergic reaction to. I'm thinking it's poison ivy, even though I usually don't have this bad of a reaction. It could just be the season or how badly I got into it. I don't know if you can see how much of it here is all over my face, both sides of my face. I've got it on my hands, wrists, arms, ankles, stomach, and it is driving me nuts. But guys, if you ever get a rash like this, especially on your face, it is so, so important that you go right to your doctor, have them diagnose what it is that you're having an allergic reaction to, and have them tell you where to go from there. But in the meantime, I want to do something today to help take out some of the itch. And I've got something that I've been using for years. It works so incredibly well, guys. But like I was just saying before, you ever diagnose yourself, treat yourself, apply anything to your body or ingest anything into your body, you need to talk to your doctor and your healthcare professionals and make sure that that particular thing is okay for you and what you've got going on. And I am not a doctor and I am not a healthcare professional. I do not claim to be one. But I want to go ahead and get started on this, guys, because this is making me nuts. We're going to use a plant that I've talked about a lot before called plantain. It's broadleaf plantain. If you guys don't know about this plant, if you don't know how to use it, how to identify it, where to find it, or the, all the amazing medicinal properties of this plant, definitely check out this video right here, and I'll tell you all about it and show you exactly how to find it. And I guarantee you guys, you can probably find this plant in your backyard, and if not in your backyard, probably in one of your friends' or neighbors' backyards. So otherwise, let's get inside and get started, because this itching is making me crazy, guys. <laughs> Okay guys, now the ointment that we're going to make today is the quick and easy version of this ointment so that you can make it when you're in a pinch like this. This is not the version that we would make for long-term storage that you would make every spring or fall in order to keep for the year. So right round. now I've got a makeshift double boiler set up with just a really big spoonful of extra virgin organic coconut oil in there. That's something that I have in the house. Just like you keep other dried herbs, I like to keep some dry plantain on hand. So these now for this quick and easy version of the ointment, you can go ahead and use fresh plantain that you have washed very well. Check it over, make sure it doesn't have blemishes, any funguses, bugs, anything like that on it. They're nice, clean leaves to use. But the thing is, if you guys are going to use fresh leaves, you cannot store this ointment. It has to be discarded after that couple days or so of use because if there's any moisture that gets into your ointment, it's going to go random it, it's going to spoil, it's going to mold, all that good stuff. So whenever you're using something that you want to store the leftovers, whenever you're making an ointment or anything to that effect, you need to use completely dried products so that absolutely no moisture gets into your ointment. we're going to go ahead and let this sit in that coconut oil. Make sure that it stays at its melting point and doesn't start to solidify. And we're going to leave it there for three hours. You can do three to four hours. We're just going to let it sit in there in the stove and every once in a while come in with your wooden spoon, give it a little stir, turn it around, all that good stuff. And I'll show you when we come back. Okay, you guys, it's been a bit over three hours now. You can see that everything's changed consistency of the leaves in there. If you can pull back, you can actually see that the oil has started to change color. It started to actually pick up some of that green tint, so that's a good sign. So what we're going to do next is I shut this double boiler off, and I'm just going to let this cool down a bit enough to handle. You don't want it to start solidifying, but you want it to just cool down enough to be able to handle it. Okay, now you can see over here I've already gotten it ready. I have a little glass jar. You can use what you want to store it in, but keep an idea of being able to get into it easily, whatever that jar is. And also the fact that if your oil is still warm or hot, you want it to be something that's capable of handling that heat. And then I have my canning funnel, so that's capable of handling any heat. And then a couple layers of cheesecloth, and I wrapped it around with an elastic band. If you don't have access to cheesecloth, a very fine strainer will work. You may just get some little pieces 
of leaf in matter in there, which will be okay since this is the quick and easy version, not the long-term storage version. But now that is all set and capable, I have it elastic band because you don't want it to fall through with the weight of the leaves in there. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna pour that in. And even though the oil came out first, I do want to grab my wooden spoon and I want to get all the leaves in there that I can because those are still covered in oil that we want to get as much out of it as we can. And we're going to go ahead and let this drain for a couple minutes. You can see how incredibly easy that was. You've got this beautiful color to your oil here. You can go ahead and start applying that to your rashes once you are down to a room temperature or cooler. Do not apply it to your skin while that's still hot. Remember guys, you don't want to burn yourself and also typically with rashes, especially itchy ones like poison ivy, heat is going to make that itch worse. It's going to really irritate that rash up. So you want to make sure this is nice and cooled. It is perfectly okay if your coconut has oil has solidified or if it's still liquid like this as long as it is cool to the touch then you can go ahead apply it as you need it to those rashes Get the coconut oil is going to work its way right in and it's going to start soothing it by adding the moisture in. You're going to want to give it about three to five minutes before that the anti-itch properties of the plantain actually start to kick in and get rid of that itch. For storing this, guys, you can go ahead and put a nice tight lid on it. Make sure that nothing else gets into your oil. You can put it in the fridge if you want, and that'll make it solidify and make it that nice creamy coconut oil texture rather than the liquid. But otherwise, I really hope this helps you guys out. I've been using this for years. I've done it on multiple occasions. It's always helped me out. I've used it for trigger bites, for poison oak, poison ivy, all that good kind of stuff. But like I said before, just definitely talk to your doctors and healthcare professionals to make sure that this is something that is okay for you to use. Don't try to diagnose yourself, guys. Always talk to your doctor. But otherwise, if you liked this video, please hit the like button for me. It helps me out so much. And if you haven't subscribed yet, definitely think about doing so. We have a ton of fun here and we're always sharing what we're doing. But otherwise, I thank you so much for your support. If you've got something like poison and Ivy. I hope it clears up for you soon, guys. Otherwise, I love you all. God bless. Have a great rest of your day, and you'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.